This is Ryan with GameRoomSolutions.com and today I'm going to show you how to put together our new full-size pinball machine. It holds a 40-inch play field, a 32-inch back box, and then also hold a 10-inch uh, DMD monitor. So I've probably already shown it all put together, so you guys are lucky you've seen it, but we're going to do the work here on actually um, doing it. It comes with all the assembly hardware you need. If you get the graphics, they'll come pre-applied like what you see there. Uh, the T-molding will come on there, so it really is just mostly uh, the assembly. The Okay, a couple things while we're assembling this. One on the cams, where the arrow goes, that's where the opening is. So you're going to want that pointed toward the cam screw itself. Um, and then you'll just turn to the right to lock it in. The other thing too is when you put the boards on, make sure that you're holding them until you get the cam screws in. Don't just let them set limp because it'll, it could mess up the boards on the side with the pressure could. So once you lock it in, you'll be good there. Okay, so like on our bark top kits, we're going to build this thing on the side. We'll build the play field first, then the back box. Uh, put the legs on. Uh, pick it up, put them together. And we should be in good shape there. So since there's graphics on this, they are laminated, so they're durable. But I would do this on carpet or some kind of uh, towel or blanket or something just to protect the other side. So the first thing I did is, this is the right side, so it's the side with the hinges because there's a trap door at the bottom that gives you access to everything. But come through here, that's, that's so you can adjust your monitor. We'll talk about that in a minute. But just come through here and put all of the cam screws where they go. You'll know the holes, uh, they're one size. As well as go ahead and put the buttons, your flipper and your nudge button, go ahead and put those through. So once you have this, we will uh, then move on to starting to put all the other pieces in. But the first few pieces that we're going to put in here is the bottom, the front, and then, uh, you know, kind of where the lockdown bar would go. So you can see there's a fan hole here, and that's where I have my um, power supply. Very important, you want to go ahead, as you're building this, have everything wired up, have everything ready. So that way when you put it all together and you pick it up, it's ready to go. Same way with our bar top kits that we have out there or our full size uh, kit. So a couple things here. Uh, so I have all my buttons wired, as well as I've extended some wires out. Uh, that'll be for the uh, nudge and the flipper button on, on this panel up here. There'll be a power button. There's a power button right here towards the front on the other side. So that way you can just come off your motherboard, and I have a video that shows you how to do this. Come off your motherboard, and I've extended that out, so that's ready to go for the button for the power, so that way it'll kick on my motherboard. So I've mounted my motherboard. As you can see, there's plenty of room. I could put a hard drive. I can put my power strip there, which I probably will. Um, power supply. This is a 500 gig, so it'll probably be good, but I could add another drive if I wanted to. So the, the key here is get all your computer hooked up, get your buttons hooked up, test everything out, make sure it's okay. Um, I faced it towards the back, because again, this latch where these are, that entire thing will go down to where you can come up here and easily work on all this, or also there's a door in the back uh, that'll let you in to latch that. So there's a lot of room, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, finish putting the cabinet together. What I wanna show you too is if you have a graphic, this board will go either direction, so make sure this is the front, right? Front of the cabinet. So make sure that your graphic is coming back uh, towards where you're playing. Okay, so we'll continue on from there. All right, next I'm gonna mount the playfield monitor. So you can see we have this uh, this mounting board's like Swiss cheese. There's a lot of ways that you can um, angle it or slide it. Not angle it, but um, slide it or move it up and down if you need to. So I have the bottom of the TV at the bottom here. You want to make sure it's about even. Go ahead and screw in the VESA. Then I can just pick this up. And you can see there's a lot of mounting options. I've already tested this, so I'm, I'm three down on mine. But essentially, I'm just going to come in here. And hopefully you guys can see that. I'm trying to do it one-handed. Hopefully I can get it to draw. So you can see there it is. And the trick is... You, where the um, plexi slot is, you can see the plexi slot there. Now this this is at a lot different angle than the cabinet itself. It lays more flat like a pinball machine. Uh, but make sure that you're behind that plex slot and then it comes back. So that looks good to me. So I'm not going to let go of this, but I'm going to stop the video so I can go ahead and um, uh, 
turn those. Again, don't let go of this until you have those tight because that weight uh, could put stress on your cams. So I'm going to tighten that up now. Okay, real quick, one more thing on the monitor. While this is all open, go ahead and run your HDMI cable. Go ahead and plug it in. I go ahead and plug it into your PC, but do that. And make sure that you can easily get to the power cable or go ahead and hook that into your power strip. So now let's talk about the back door. So I've put on the piece that's going to attach to the top. It's the smaller piece with the big hole in the middle. These can go either way, but you want these two holes to be more in the middle of the, uh, of the board. So on the back door, you can see that there's, there's three cams on the inside here. Now you could just do this door on the outside because we're going to pre-drill everything for the door if, the, if you're okay with the cams being on the other side. If not, the way that it's going to work is you, can, you just reverse everything and then you'll just have to screw in the hardware for the little trap door in the back. So just to show you, that's what I did just so it looks a little cleaner. So you can see there's no cams here. So there's a barrel bolt. This will come with it. It's a little barrel bolt, a couple hinges, so I can just, you know, undo that. And then I'll have access into the machine. Um, the other thing I did is I went ahead and put my switch socket in. At least, um, at least mounted it. And then I'll wire it up here in a bit. And again, I got a video on that as well. So we put in the, uh, the top piece or the T-moldings to the back. Uh, and then the back door and I went in and did the hardware and again if you don't mind the three cams showing in the back it'll, All of these little pre-drill holes those will be done for you. So it'll be a little quicker if not just uh, Lay this on a flat surface lay that in the middle and then lay your hardware there and then just mark it real quick with a uh, You know a sharpie or a small uh, Drill bit and then screw it in and you'll be good Okay, the next piece is this piece so it's going to black out uh, at the back of the monitor and it's also going to help hold the plex with the slot that's in it so it can go either way so you got to be careful uh, but there's two cams right behind the monitor and that's going to go right in front of there like that uh, one thing that'll make your life a lot easier is get you one of these small little screwdrivers because it'll make it easy to get in some of these spots. I can still get to this uh, with a normal screwdriver, but that little screwdriver will make life uh, a lot easier. But just to show you the other side, I'll screw that down in a minute. So you can see that's where the uh, plex is going to go in that slot. Okay, so now we're going to put on the bottom door here. Uh, Notice that you're going to put the latch here. You'll see how that latches to the other side in a minute, but go ahead and put that on. These are pre-drilled holes again, so those will easily screw in. But what you're going to want to do is lay the door down and make sure that you barely have the clearance on both sides. If not, when you try to pick this up, it'll catch one of those two boards. But you can see here that the board fits perfect. Okay, so we almost got the play field uh, done already. What you're going to do is pull the stuff off your monitor you know, if you have any of the new t new sticker stuff, pull that off. You're going to get the uh, Playfield Plexi uh, double-sided to protect it with the, with the uh, brown paper. Peel that off. Make sure everything's clean. And then you're going to want to just slide the Plex. Uh, let's see if you guys can see that. But So it's going to go on top of this. It's going to hit there. And then it's going to go in the slot and in this slot. So I'll go ahead and do that now and show it to you. Okay, there, so there we go. Uh, make sure that that channel is clear that you put the uh, that you put the plex in. As you can see, it's a perfect fit. And then there's enough overhang for the other side whenever it comes in. Uh, so that's that's getting close to it. What I'm going to do is, since I'm putting this together by myself, I'm going to go ahead and put on the uh, legs on the bottom side while this is still open. Now that I have the bottom and the side to brace it. Uh, everything's together. If, if you had someone else with you, you could go ahead and probably put it together and then put, put one side legs on. Maybe put it up on a table so this thing straddles it so it's a little bit easier. With that big door, there's a lot of room for you to come up here and work if you had it on its side. But I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on now. So I'll show you guys how to do that. Okay, so let's talk through the legs. You can see that there's channels right here. That's the front on both sides of the front 
as well as the sides. So this is already pre-drilled for that. I'm just going to take a knife and cut this, uh, just barely cut that right there uh, so the screws can go through. So this is, uh, this kit fits standard Williams legs and brackets. So here's your bracket, here's your leg, 28 and a half inch leg is what it's made for because it's, it's exactly 35 with the 25 inch leg. It's 35 inches to the front like a standard pinball machine and then you can move it up if you needed to. But <laughs> these are already threaded. So what, what's going to happen here is essentially I'm going to line this up on the inside like that. So that'll, with one hand I'm going to do that. And then on the other side I'm going to put the leg on. Of course this is going to be on the bottom is where I'm going to do this. But put the leg on. Line everything up, and then I'm just going to take the bolts, and these are 5 8 bolts, so I'm going to put this on my drill, 5 8 and then I'm just going to screw into it. Once once you get it, the, the threading started going in, it's going to zip your legs right on for you. So I'm going to do that now, and then we'll take a look. Okay, so now we have um, everything ready to go, just to put on the um, left side here. So for the left side... Again, we'll already have the T-molding on it, how it's supposed to go in the uh, artwork, if you get artwork. But go ahead and put the buttons in. And again, there's your power button down at the bottom. So I'm going to wire that directly in my motherboard. So all I have to do is pop that and the machine will, machine will go on. And then I'll have the boot directly into Pinball X. And then I have my flipper and whatever. So to show you here, it's identical to the other side. Um, a couple notes here. Make sure that the monitor that you have those in the same slots as you as you put on your other side um, it's just all the cam locks the other thing is this latch right here and again everything's pre-drilled all the hardware's with it it'll just take you a second to zip that in uh, I'll show you how the latch works in a minute so what I'm gonna do now is take that on just slowly work it into all the cam slots make sure you don't miss the monitor don't miss this as I start to bring it down, I'll go ahead and open my back door. I'll lean around in there and make sure everything's wired up. Um, once that's on there, I'm going to come on the inside. And again, that's where that small screwdriver comes in real handy. But I'm going to come in there and um, lock all the cams. And then put the legs on. And uh, the play field's done. So just to show you progress, I've got the... Uh, top and the back end. Now when you start to put this on you might say well it doesn't seem like it fits exactly. It does fit. The difference is since I have the legs already on the bottom that's squared up a lot tighter than this side until I get the legs on. So, but these boards will move fine. Just barely push them and make sure everything uh, goes into uh, in the slots. <coughs> That'll come down. I just gotta get the monitor on the inside and everything will come down. But that's what's gonna square everything up when you put it on. The other thing is make sure that the plex is lined up in the channel how it's supposed to be. So you want to make sure the plex is in the channel, move the boards around, see how it looks like it's off. It's not once I put it in there. But again, that's just because I have the leg screwed on tight. Um, so so it, it seems like it doesn't fit, but it's because those are shirred up. Once you put this on, you'll notice everything is perfectly square. And then I'll put the legs on. Okay, so I have the uh, side on, and the hardest part is making sure that plex gets in the slot up there. If it if it's falling back on you, it, it's bigger. It will go in. Uh, sometimes it takes a little bit of push on it once you get it in the slot first before you do it. But if it's coming back, take a screwdriver and don't do the bare screwdriver. Do like a uh, you know something real soft around the edge, and you can just kind of guide it through here to make sure it goes in the slot, and then it'll come down flush. And once it comes down flush, you're home free. Then it's a matter of just coming through and um, doing all the cams. Just to show you, there's plenty of room to work in here. So I'm going to hook up those two buttons as well as my power button. I already have all the wires ready. I'm just going to plug them in. And then I'm going to put on the legs. Okay, so the uh, side's on. Everything's wired up. I have the legs on. Real quick, what I want to show you. Open the back door. <clears throat> And we can easily shut the uh, bottom up there. And then what we're going to want to do is clip it. So let me see if I can get where you guys can see this. 
So it, it's it's all pre-drilled again. It'll fit. Actually, it went right in there. That's going to go down like that, and you'll lock it like that. And that's what will keep it from opening on the bottom. So now what I'm going to do is just close everything up, or close up this back door, and uh, pick it up, and we'll see what we got. All right, looks like a pinball machine to me. Hopefully I don't get a lot of glare off the monitor. I probably will. Yeah, quite a bit of glare. So this is what it looks like whenever you're gonna play it. And again, we, we do the PSD files, so you can design you know, whatever artwork you want. This is my fan artwork I did for Walking Dead, but so I put everyone's faces in. And then on the pinball, I made it look like that, you know, Rick's looking at you. And on the other side, I think is a um, little bit different view of guys. I got Negan on that side. Uh, so there you go. Back box. Again, the, the longest and hardest part is making sure everything's wired. Oops, sorry. Everything's wired and put in. Um, building the actual cabinet itself. We've really thought this thing through like we do all of our cabinet kits So it goes together pretty quick and you can tell it looks freaking awesome. So now we will um, put the back box together link the two up and then uh, I'm gonna get on my software and everything going and I'm gonna play this sucker Okay, I'm gonna do a three monitor setup with mine um these little monitors, I'll have links in the description to all the monitors and everything that I used for this build. Uh, this little monitor is like 100 bucks on Amazon. has HDMI and your standard uh, you know, RGB monitor plug or VGA. So I need to go ahead and mount the speakers again. <clears throat> this will fit 4-inch speakers. You can see everything's pre-drilled uh, to mount those. This is going to be creative because guys are going to have different size DMDs and everything else. So what I'm going to do is just route this out like it is here. Uh, for me, I'm going to simplify it. I've already figured out that this combination of washers holds it um, up and down where I need. And then I'm just going to come in and just screw something down to hold it. And probably one right there to hold that in. But just so you guys can see um, what this piece looks like. You'll have this piece. Um, this is obviously at the bottom of the... Uh, back box so we'll have a version that doesn't have anything cut there for the two monitor and then we'll have a, a cutout as well just work with us if you're going to buy something specific so we make sure and get the uh, get the hole right but the monitor in the description will already have this uh, design for that so I want to show you guys of, of how I mounted that because I'm going to go ahead and mount the speakers mount this third monitor and then um, get my uh, 32 inch monitor my back box monitor on that mount as well Okay, let's talk through the uh, back box real quick. So you're going to have your two sides. <clears throat> see, there's my sides with the T-molding, the bottom, the uh, speaker grill, the top, the um, TV mount, and then the back door. So what you're going to want to do is on the sides, go ahead and put all your cam screws in. You'll figure out how far you want your monitor to go forward. And we'll just go ahead and uh, build this step by step. Okay, so I have the side laid down. I put the bottom on. You can see the cams are on the inside. Um, the T-molding will be at the back, but these holes will be like almost in the middle of the board. That's how you know that's correct. The uh, speaker. Go ahead and wire your speakers and your um, DMD or your third monitor before you put it in there. And then the top. The thing about the top is there's a clip. This comes with us so the back door can clip shut. Make sure you put the clip on before you put this in and then you can see you just follow where the T-molding is going to go. So now I'll take my monitor. Make sure it's how I want it. And then again I'll do this one-handed. Um, oh, I have it the wrong way. Hang on. Sorry. All right, let's try this again. And again, on the monitor, go ahead and have the power cords and the. Uh, make sure you guys can see that. 
have the power cords and your HDMI cable or so I'll put that in there and again just make sure it's where you want it I could actually bring this forward so I'm going to do that now I'm just going to move the cams up uh, move this forward go ahead and slide the plex in the slot and then put on the other side over there okay so I got everything on tightened up that's what the back door looks like it's going to shut close like that so you can just Put it on like that. I went and took out my DMD just so while I put it up there, I don't break it. Um, again, make sure that your monitor is where you want it. Um, that's really it. The back box is pretty quick, pretty simple. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all my cords in there. I'm going to shut this. And again, it's going to latch. There's a latch. Make sure I don't miss that. Um, it'll latch shut. You can see in the bottom, I got a couple holes there. That's going to be for these with the uh, wing nuts. It's just going to set flush right here. It'll cover up all this wood. It'll set flush right there. And then I'll just, um, it doesn't matter which way you go. I can go down and wing nut or go up and wing nut down. So I'm going to go ahead and shut that up and set that up here and let's see what we got. So that's it guys. It's put together. The DMD back in. This thing is awesome. I cannot wait to get all the software going. And uh, actually, just get to play. I'm tired of working. Uh, but you can see the cabinet, everything went together really quick, really easy. The majority of it's just all the pre wiring and everything. So by the time you're done and you set it up, it's good to go. So make sure and visit GameRoomSolutions.com. We have this kit out there. We have full-size arcade machines. We have the little uh, bar tops that are real popular. Um, make sure and like the video. If you have any questions, just hit us on our contact page. Thanks. Bye. Yeah.